if you're using an iPhone with iOS 6 and you're trying to set up Gmail on your iPhone, here is a process that will allow you to sync your email, calendars, reminders, and what have you. Uh, you'll be able to do push notifications and everything will work seamlessly. What you need to do first is you need to log in to Gmail, going to gmail.com, and then after you've logged in, go to your account security settings for Google. And if you don't know how to get there, you can click up here by your name and then go to account and then click on security. Or you can simply go to google.com slash settings slash security. And you want to set up two-step verification. This is very important to set up. This is also greatly increases your security so that your account cannot be hijacked. So set up your two-step verification and then you want to click, after you've done that and you've verified yourself through the two-step process, you want to edit the authorizing applications and sites by clicking this edit button right here. Now on this next screen, you want to scroll down to application specific passwords. And you want to create an application specific password for your iPhone or your iPad or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a name here for my iPhone. And then I'm going to click Generate Password. Okay, now that I have my application-specific password created, this is what I enter into my iPhone when it's time to enter my password. So once you've received your two-step verification password specifically for your iPhone, you want to open up your iPhone and click on Mail Contacts Calendars. Next, you want to click on Add Account to add your new account. Here, you can either enter Gmail or Microsoft Exchange. If you want to receive emails and whatnot through push notifications, then you want to choose Microsoft Exchange. I chose Gmail because I want to send email out from a separate SMTP server than my generic Google Gmail address because I use Google Apps for your domain. So I chose the Gmail. If you, if you use just one email address and you send from that one email a Gmail address, then you want to use Microsoft Exchange. On this next screen, you want to enter your full email address and then that password that you received when you uh, went through the security settings through the Gmail account where you set up you know, that special password for your application. That's where you want to enter in that long, complicated password right here. And you can enter anything you'd like f under description. That doesn't really matter. And then click the Next button. For your server, you want to be you want to put not smtp.google.com, but rather the letter M. Or actually, before I had smtp.gmail.com, that's what I used in the past. Now I'm using m.google.com. So change your server to this m.google.com, and then uh, domain. You can just leave that blank. Then you want to scroll down and enter in the rest of the information. Here, you want to enter your username. Now, it's important not to put the at symbol then gmail.com after your username. Just put your username, and then that password that you entered in before should just automatically re-enter here. If it doesn't, just go ahead and re-enter it, and then click Next, and you should be good to go, and you will be using uh, Gmail on your iPhone in no time.